Hey there, people. My name is Tegorian, and welcome back to more Final Fantasy X. We are looking for Orin. Apparently, he's been spotted around here. So, we will find him. Hopefully. Yuna certainly seems to be popular. Let me through. Hey, let's go. You're really famous. We don't get separated. Yuna! Huh? Hmm? What was that? <laughs> In Xanarkin, we do this to cheer on Blitz players. Whistling like that too. is a skill that I was never able to learn. Death. Like not that I spent too terribly much time trying to learn it, but um, it just it doesn't it feels like I'm missing something with that. It's not working. Practice. Okay. Hey, use that if we get separate. Then I'll come running, okay? Well, guess we should just stick together then. So you can do it. Yes, sir. Hmm. All right. So I think we came from all the way to the left. I doubt that guy would let us through. But for now, Yuna is in tow. There is going to be a, a game coming up soon. So we don't want to be late for that. Aha! Wow! This is a pretty big town. Luca is the second largest city in Spira. I thought every town was little. You know, like Besaid and Kilika. Towns don't usually get bigger than that. Because when a lot of people start to gather... Sin? Hmm. What about Luca? It's safe here? It's not any different, but the stadium is here. The Crusaders fight to protect it with all their strength. They protect the stadium? Blitzball is really the only entertainment that we have. Spear us a little short on fun these days. Whoa. Talk about pressure. <laughs> That's right. Is Xanarkand like this too? Hmm. Well, there are more buildings. All tall ones. And cramped together. Oh. They must be so tall. Don't you ever get dizzy? <laughs> Let's go find Sir Oren. So it must be a shock going from that sprawling metropolis of, uh, of Xanarkand to all of these tiny little villages. Uh, I know what it's like in the opposite of that. Again, I grew up in a tiny little town, and I mean, when I went to some of the larger cities, it was really amazing, really impressive, um, just how widespread here. things are, how, hmm. how tall they can get. 
and just how many people there are. Kimari so small can't see Yankee and Biran's faces. <laughs> Kimari forget Ronso friends? We taught you much at time of Hornmont. Biran taught Kimari to be strong, Ronso. Maybe taught too much. Take him on. <laughs> Ooh, good hit. Although I would have gone for the other guy because that guy was uh he was the game. The the one seems somewhat polite friendly. Friendly is the word I want to use there. Participate in this great contest of bravery, skill, and strength. I'm sorry, Blitzball is a Contest of bravery? I'm, I don't exactly understand how, but whatever. All of these fine teams, equally renowned, deserve to win the cup today. Such is the nature of this contest. Let us, the spectators, play our role accordingly. There are Let only six teams. Let us sing to the glory of the winners and applaud equally the valor of the defeated. Contestants, may heaven be with you. Titus has got to get back there. Is the border around that sphere? That's something that they never explain, as much as things have an explanation in this game. Um, yeah, they just never say anything about it. <laughs> the only thing that was really mentioned was when Titus threw the one guy out uh, in the intro cutscene. And it just, just sort of repaired itself in front of him. Zero zero game. Ball gets kicked off. And the game has begun. Kamari, Yuna's gone. Where did she go and why? Where in Spira have you been? Huh? Yuna's been kidnapped by the Al Bed Sykes. In exchange for her safe return, they want the Aurochs to lose. What? If they're only Blitzball players, I doubt they'd do anything drastic. But we shouldn't take chances. Let's go get her. So we did see to. a few Albed talking about Summoner no in the last episode. They're telling the Aurochs to throw the game, as if they needed to. I mean, that was like the only word that was translated at that point. Waka said the same thing. He'll take care of the game. We should go get Yuna. The Albed boat is in Dock 4. Let's right. go. Dock 4. And unfortunately, our party of five has been cut down to a party of just three. It's a full team, but we don't have a lot of uh, 
options. The healer is gone. The... Wait, what does Waka do? <laughs> In any case, dock number four. Can we see... where the numbers are? What is this, dock one? I'm watching the game up here. <laughs> Ooh. No score, apparently. Anyway, sorry. 600 gil. Uh, I mean, that's an out bed, right? They like to wear masks. Tidal Spear. It's probably got Water Strike on it. of our flags. I think this one, that's the goers, isn't it? Or am I crazy? Whatever. In any case, let's uh, just keep moving on. Oh! Whoa! What are they? Ancient machina salvaged by the Abed. They are mostly vulnerable to lightning. Just like I thought. So we will start taking these out. Lulu is going to be very useful here because black magic and thunder. Should easily do over 300. Yeah, easy. Super easy. I. Why? <laughs> why do we do that? 86. 77. An X potion! So an X potion will restore. All HP, I believe. It's valuable, especially this early into the game. I haven't yet changed any of the settings, so I should probably do that. E2. There we go. And take it out. Kimari has over a thousand HP. It's always good. Some high potions. Is there any items over here? Does not look like it, and I doubt that guy would let us on a boat. So, let's keep going. Yeah, really don't have much else to do aside from just get my butt kicked here. It's the same fight over and over again. 500 that time. I do wish that anything would <laughs> just attack Kimari. Oh, good. You know, that way Kimari could actually heal with Lancet. There we go. 
Yeah! <laughs> Making use of Lancet. Is it worth attacking? Yeah. Probably not gonna take it out. Yeah, 13 damage. Oof. 79 damage isn't that great either. Oh, cool. Now we move forward. Bunch of high potions. How's the game going? The Aurochs are keeping the score tied with some excellent defense, folks. Now that ah, one was uncalled for. The referee doesn't call the foul. Wack is taking a real beating out there. Huh. Still in there. He won't last. Waka's always like that. Ouch. Yeah, some confidence. Let's go. But... In reality, I think Lulu is right in that, you know, there's more important things to worry about. Also, thank God for that save point. I was just going to um, heal up anyway. But now that I can do it for free, I don't mind it. Let's go. How is Lulu... She's not gonna. They're not gonna show her jumping. She's just. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So we have been on a ship like this before. Trigger command, use crane. What? Come on, look. it's probably out of Oh, if it's out of power. And maybe hitting it with electricity? There we go. Crane seems to respond. Perfect. Maybe. There we go. Alright, lance it again. I'm hoping to learn some abilities at all. <laughs> now we can use it. Let's see what it does. Come on, move! It's probably out of Huh. That's a lot of damage. But, just keep hitting this with lightning. And seems to respond. We can still use Lancet, even though we're silenced. It's surprising, honestly. I am not going to bother trying it. Trying the crane with trigger. There's really no reason. Alright, lance it again. Aha! Now we can use it. I wonder 
what would have happened if we had a lightning touch, an electric touch weapon? In any case, we just dealt 5,000 damage to it. Bring it down just to 300. And should we be able to hit this? Yeah, with lightning. This actually should be it. Yeah, easy. Placed fanfare, I guess. Whatever. An elixir and a metal shield. I hope you hurt them. A little. Does he what recognize it? it? There were these all bed that saved my life when I first came to Spira. They took me on their ship. They even gave me food. I was kind of hoping that this was the same ship. But it's not. I wonder if they're all gone. What happened? Sin came up near us. I made it out okay, but I don't know what happened to their ship. Um, was there anyone called Sid on that ship? I don't know. They were all speaking that Al Bed language. I see. So who's Sid? He's my uncle, but I've never actually met him. Mm-hmm. Wait. So that means you're Al Bed too, Yuna? On my mother's side, yes. Sid is my mother's brother. He became distant after my mother married. I mean, rightly so. But she told me to seek him out if I ever needed help. You're worried he was... Don't tell Waka about Yuna's lineage. The thing about Waka, he never had much love for the Abed. Whoa! I, I gotta tell Waka. I thought I told you not to tell Waka. The game! Oh... What are you... What? <laughs> Is that supposed to be a signal? Apparently it is. And now... 30 seconds left! The Aurochs are launching an all-out offensive! Waka can kick it into high gear. Waka just seems rough. <laughs> we won! We did it! We're in the finals! This is pretty beat up. Graceful win. How did we get back to Chapel, shore? He'd still back be to standing. port. Oh, hey, shut up. Aren't you being just a little unfair? Excuse me? I know I could never take Chapu's place. You're the one who told Waka that, right, Lulu? And I don't think Waka would ever try to take Chapu's... You don't want to finish that sentence. <sighs> Lulu is very blunt, and I don't like that. But anyway... Treasure. 
Is there any? Aha! We can go back. Oh, two chests! Magic sphere. As well as an HP sphere. Both are very good. I may use that HP sphere on Lulu. Get her started on getting some HP. Ugh. Except from that, I want to heal up. Um, why isn't you not... Ah, whatever. I feel like I should spend those sphere levels. But also, I feel like it doesn't matter right now. I will do most of the sphere leveling between episodes, as it does take a long time. Um, even though it is straightforward, uh, some of the branches do path off, uh, break off. Um, like Kamari, I, he actually can go backwards right away and then loop back around. And then it'll be on the same path, and then from Miss there me? he's got... I it kind of, Kamari is a weird one. <laughs> he starts in a very weird place on the sphere grid. Lady Yuna. Um, Are you okay? But All this because everyone of else is just straightforward. They are blocked I'm off sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, from taking really any other path. So... How can you let some outbed just... Uh, it takes time to move, hey, it takes go, time right? to activate the nodes. Don't it's just annoying, anymore, honestly. Okay? Trouble. <laughs> I don't think it's a fun thing to watch, but once you get into it where you can use uh, different sphere nodes, activate different nodes, and figure out what you need, then that's where it starts getting interesting. Before starting up this playthrough... <laughs> I was spending a lot of time on the sphere grid, um, clearing out some things, um, and uh, popping in other spheres. Waka, how you doing? Ah, uh, the game starts soon. No time for warm-ups. Ready? Let me at him. All right. I got something to tell you, boys. After this game, I'm retiring. Don't tell him that. Not right now. I promised myself this would be my last tournament. Win or lose, I'm quitting Blitzball. But that know, is the wrong thing to tell him. Here, we might as well win. Yeah. Uh, what a way to mind a bench. I'm warm on the bench. He's taking my place. All right, boys, let's win this one. Let's make the goers goners. Let's play it. <gasps> What's our goal? Victory. I saw you floating there on the sphere. Oh. Hey, you weren't supposed to see that. You really gave it your all, didn't you? All right, boys, what are we going to do? Win! For Captain Walker. <gasps> All right. This is it, folks. In just a few minutes, the championship game. My best memories are here. Waka, captain of the Aurochs. It is kind of interesting that they have the same locker room for every year. But who could have imagined? A championship game between these two teams. 
our legendary Luca Goers going against the horrendously ill-fated Basaid Orox. This looks like that history in run. the making, Baba. The low quality on the crowd <laughs> kills me, honestly.